Hi, this is Diane Carbo with caregiverrelief.com. Today's topic is what is Lewy body dementia? LBD. A lot of people have never heard of this type of dementia. I think people would be surprised to know it is the second most common form of progressive dementia, the most common type being Alzheimer's dementia. It is also the most undiagnosed type of dementia. This is the murder that Robin Williams suffered from. I know many think he died from severe depression and suicide, and to that point, it is true. However, after an autopsy, the coroner's findings surprised everyone. The coroner told Williams' wife that he found the tiny deposits of a protein called alpha-synuclein in Robin's brain cells. Those proteins are called Lewy bodies. The coroner told William's wife that this was one of the most severe cases he had ever seen. I know the first people think of, how did the doctors miss this? Why is this progressive type of dementia so misdiagnosed and missed so often? First, let's discuss how Lewy body was discovered. Lewy body dementia was discovered in the early 1900s by a German-born neurologist, Dr. Redrick H. Lewy. He was actually studying Parkinson's disease when he came across these tiny deposits of proteins called alpha-synuclein in the brain cells. These cells were later named after him. They are now known as Lewy bodies. Lewy bodies are found in both Parkinson's and as a standalone disorder. There is a difference in each of these conditions. These Lewy bodies are located in different regions of the brain. In Parkinson's, the Lewy bodies are found in the substantia nigra region of the brain. This is the brain structure that is part of your basal ganglia located at the base of your skull. It's very tiny and it's essential in how your brain controls your body's movements. It also plays a part in the chemical signaling in your brain. And this affects learning, mood, judgment, decision making, and other processes. It's important to mention here that not all Parkinson's patients will develop Lewy body dementia. And I'll discuss more of that later on in this podcast. Lewy bodies without Parkinson's are mainly found spread throughout the cerebral cortex of the brain. For those that don't know, your cerebral cortex is also called gray matter. It's your brain's outermost layer of the nerve cell tissue, and it's wrinkly in appearance and has many folds and grooves. The cerebral cortex plays a key role in memory, thinking, and learning, and reasoning functions related to your senses. It's unclear exactly how Louis' bodies develop or how they build up in the brain as of yet. It has been discovered that there is a link to reduced levels of neurotransmitters. And these are the signaling molecules secreted by a neuron to communicate to another cell across the synapse. The cell receiving the signal, and it may be in any body part or target cell, may be another neuron, but could also be a gland or a muscle cell. The chemicals excreted by the neurotransmitter are acetylcholine and dopamine. Simply put, the Lewy bodies build up inside nerve cells in the brain. This causes the neurons to work well and eventually die. The chemicals I mentioned, acetylcholine and dopamine, act as messengers between cells, are also affected. What causes these changes in the brain is not quite fully understood yet, but Lewy body dementia, or LBD, affects more than 1 million individuals in the United States. People typically start showing symptoms at age 50 or older. Although, and I've seen it and it's sad, although sometimes younger people do have Lewy body dementia, it appears to affect slightly more men than women. I think there are several reasons that Lewy body is misdiagnosed. Early signs and symptoms of Lewy body 
dementia are often confused with similar symptoms found in other brain or psychiatric disorders. It can also occur alone or with other brain disorders. Lewy body dementia is a progressive disease. That means symptoms can start out slowly and then worsen over time. From diagnosis to death, the average disease process is five to eight years. And from my experience, it can range sometimes from two to 20 in some people. How quickly symptoms develop and how changes in behavior occur varies greatly from one person to the next. This depends on a person's overall health, the age, and the severity of their symptoms. I have many family caregivers ask if this is hereditary. And I did a lesson on this recently, so I'm just going to just briefly give you a short version. Most types of Lewy body are not inherited. It is rare that more than one family member will develop this condition. There are, however, certain genetic variants that may increase your chance of developing dementia with Lewy bodies. And here is the important thing to know. Having this genetic variant does not mean that you will definitely develop the disease. As I have discussed in past lessons, environment, lifestyle choices also play a very important factor or important role that contributes or prevents the development of a different types of dementia. So let's talk now about the signs and symptoms of Lewy body dementia. The most common signs and symptoms of dementia with Lewy body will include changes in thinking abilities, movement, sleep, and behavior. As I mentioned before, here are two types of Lewy body dementia. So the symptoms can vary widely. An individual that has Lewy body may not have all of these symptoms, but common symptoms may include they have trouble with paying attention or concentrating. This can be a symptom that is easily overlooked. I know for me, chronic pain distracts me. Add to that that females are going through menopause, they are, and they're challenged to concentrate as well. Planning things can be challenging for a person with Lewy body in the early stages. Difficulty when multitasking. I would like to say here that I did a podcast on multitasking. It is something that contributes to developing dementia. Our brains are meant to focus on one thing at a time. So when we focus on more than one thing, we lose our ability to do something well. We lose our ability to focus over time. I tell my family caregivers to work on doing one task at a time. Consider it a dementia prevention strategy. Other symptoms of Lewy body dementia may include difficulty with problem solving and reasoning. This is one that comes to light more in the workplace than at home for many. I have so many clients that had a family member lose their job, only to learn that they were let go because their family member was having issues solving problems presented to them or having problems with initiation. Joe was a 50-year-old electric engineer that had been working with his company for decades. He was in a management position with his company. His secretary had worked with Joe since he moved into management. The secretary observed on several occasions over a period of months how Joe was struggling to do things that had come easy to him in the past. Now, Joe was very brilliant and very good at hiding his problems at home. It was at work that he struggled to make plans, decisions, and even solve problems that were presented to him. That's not saying that they didn't occur at home. It's just that he was either able to cover it up or was in denial or responded angry or frustrated or mad. So the family members backed off when they suggested that there was something wrong. Joe's secretary noticed that it took him two or three times as long to do many tasks. But his secretary was an enabler. She helped cover for Joe's presence shortcomings for quite a long time. Joe's secretary never shared her concerns with his family or even human resources. I have to tell you, this is not uncommon. 
based on confidentiality and our present climate of tolerance. Companies do not share things that they observe with family members. Joe's story is more common than people know. So let's go on to another symptom of dementia with Lewy bodies, problems with memory. This is another symptom that may not be noticeable early on. Because of our fast-paced culture and multitasking, people often forget things. That does not mean they have dementia. Individuals with Lewy body also experience problems with visual and spatial abilities. They have problems judging distance and depth. And they may start to misidentify objects. They start to have unpredictable changes in concentration, attention, alertness, and wakefulness. These are the signs and symptoms that cause Joe to lose his job. He would zone out, forget where, what he was saying right in the middle of the sentence. Visual hallucinations occur in up to 80% of people with Lewy body dementia, and they often occur early on in the disease process. Some very high-functioning individuals are actually able to hide this symptom for a period of time. Movement changes, such as tremors or muscle stiffness, known as Parkinsonism, occurs. Tremors or uncontrolled shakiness may be the first symptom that people seek help for. There are many different types of tremors. A diagnosis of Parkinson's does not mean you will also develop Lewy body dementia. Again, I'll address this later on in the lesson. Sleep disorders or sleep behavior disorders is a condition when a person seems to act out dreams while asleep. I have had patients that sleep so violently that they've kicked their spouse out of bed or injured their spouse unintentionally while they were sleeping. Others suffer with excessive sleep, lack of sleep, or even restless leg syndrome. Depression apathy and lack of interest in participating in any familiar activities is very common for most dementias and not just Lewy body. Some suffer from anxiety and delusions, and those are beliefs or ideas that are not based in reality. Even there, some individuals have delusions that are harmful to themselves and others. I cannot tell you how many times a family member has wrongfully accused of stealing while providing care. Paranoid behaviors are challenging for any family caregiver. I could not tell you how many times the police are called because a senior family member thinks that they're being taken advantage of by their family caregiver. I had a patient in a very upscale nursing home call the police on a regular basis to report the nurses on duty. Oh, yes. And I want you to know that not all delusions are harmful. I had the sweetest little old lady as a patient. I was working in senior behavioral health. She would talk about her boyfriend and their life together. She was just such a happy, sweet lady. No one would suspect that she was not in her right mind. When you took time to sit and have a conversation with Sophie, you, she would tell you how her boyfriend and her traveled so much and how she missed him terribly. She was waiting for him to return any day. During our conversation, I would say, hey, how often had you talked to her? How often have you seen him? She said she talked to him several times a day. Sophie would put her cupped hand up to her ear and proceed to have a conversation with him. So if you have a family member that experience, experiences delusions, don't argue with them and don't try to correct them. What they are experiencing is real in their minds even though it's not based on reality at all. Other symptoms of Lewy body include sensitivity to heat and cold, dizziness, poor sense of smell, and other changes in other functions of the body. In the early stages of this progressive disorder, individuals with mild symptoms can often function close to normal. As the disease progresses, Thinking and movement abilities decline. Over time, they will need more help and will depend on the caregivers full time. As you can see, the signs and symptoms of Lewy body 
can be so many different medical or even mental health conditions. Because there is lack of a diagnostic test and because Lewy body dementia presents so many symptoms that are associated with other medical conditions, it is a real challenge to get a proper diagnosis. A survey from the LBDA Association of almost 1,000 LBD caregivers revealed that nearly 80% of people with Lewy body dementia were initially diagnosed with a different neurological condition, with more than 50% of these being mistakenly diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Let's look at what are the types of Lewy body dementia. As I mentioned in the beginning of this lesson, there's two types of Lewy body with Lewy bodies, a standalone disorder, and Parkinson's disease with Lewy bodies. Both are caused by the underlying changes in the brain. And as I mentioned earlier, each condition affects a different part of the brain. Over time, both of these disorders may result in similar symptoms. The main difference or the key for a family member to know is the timing and when thinking and movement symptoms begin. This is important because you will want to know how the disease is going to progress so you can develop a care plan for the future. Dementia with Lewy bodies. There are problems with thinking, unpredictable changes in attention and alertness. Visual hallucinations develop early in relation to movement symptoms. Your family member will experience movement symptoms, such as slow movements. They will have difficulty walking with muscle stiffness. In Parkinson's disease dementia with Lewy body, movement symptoms start first. They are consistent with a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. As the disease progresses, problems with thinking and changes in mood occur. Then some challenging, very challenging behaviors develop. Remember, not everyone with Parkinson's disease will develop dementia with Lewy body. Again, it's important to know which type of Lewy body dementia a person has so that you, with your medical professional, can tailor a treatment to address the symptoms and to understand how the disease will likely progress to make plans for future care. A person with Lewy body dementia may not experience significant movement problems, like shaking or falling for several years. Fall prevention should be part of a care plan, even at home. I would like to address here how important it is to put an advanced directive in place. Because this is a progressive disease, there are times when some very serious issues are going to need to be addressed. Both types of Lewy body with, will result in swallowing issues and possibly multiple bouts of pneumonia. Having ongoing conversations about the what-ifs is important to plan for future care. I recommend Five Wishes platform, fivewishes.org. It has a nice package that addresses what you want as your body starts to decline. It asks questions to spark conversation on the end-of-life issues so many of us want to avoid talking about. I'm well aware how people go to great lengths to avoid these serious topics. I encourage you to make decisions known. Identify a healthcare power of attorney and have discussions while you still can. Being proactive means your healthcare proxy will make decisions for you when you can no longer express them. Do not delay in putting your papers in order as some decline faster than expected. Please visit caregiverrelief.com to review our end-of-life planning. I've done lots of podcasts and there's lots of content on end-of-life planning on the site. As I made you aware, it's very difficult to get a proper diagnosis of Lewy body dementia, especially in the early stages. The patient and their family members can help doctors make a diagnosis by just telling the doctors the symptoms you observed involving thinking, movement, sleep, behaviors, and moods. 
To diagnose Lewy body dementia, doctors may ask questions about a person's medical history and symptoms. They'll perform physical exams. They'll perform laboratory tests of blood and or urine. They'll conduct assessments to evaluate memory and other mental functions. This may include a mini mental status exam or a slums test. That's the St. Louis University mental status test. They will do tests to rule out other medical conditions that could cause similar symptoms, and that would include brain imaging tests. Be aware there is no known cure for Lewy body dementia. Treatments at the present time address symptom management. It will include medications, physical, and speech therapy. As I do with all my clients, I want you to take time to make changes within the home to prevent falls. Explore equipment that will make everyday tasks easier. Social support is so important as the disease progresses. Online and in-person support groups can also be a valuable resource for the family caregiver and the person with Lewy body dementia. Being able to share experiences, tips with others in the same situation is priceless. And I would like to make one last point to you. Researchers are working to better understand Lewy body dementia and related disorders to treat and prevent these diseases. Consider joining the effort. Researchers need volunteers with and without Lewy body dementia for clinical trials and studies. I'm Diane Carbo, RN with caregiverrelief.com. If you're a family caregiver, Remember, you're the most important part of the caregiving equation. Without you, it all falls apart. So please practice self-care every day. Be gentle with yourself because you are worth it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Caregiver Relief. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions for future videos, topics you'd like us to cover, or even improvements you'd like to see on the channel, drop them in the comments below.